Okay, I picked the windiest day to do this video outside, but it's but I had to. It's such a beautiful day. I needed to get out of the studio and do this video. What is up everybody? My name is Timothy. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Why is it so windy? This is not working out. I'm gonna I'm gonna move. That is much better. Like I was saying earlier, this video is about challenging yourself and not in a philosophical life way, like one of those, if you want something, challenge yourself and do it. Take that leap of faith. This is not what this video is about. The kind of challenge I'm talking about is challenging your skills. And these are skills that you, you think you are amazing at, like the best, these are the best set of skills that you have and challenging those skills on purpose. And it doesn't matter what skill it is. Let's take professions for example. You could be an editor, a writer, a cinematographer, a photographer. You could be an actor, you could be a carpenter, you could be a fashion designer, you could be a mechanic, it doesn't matter. Those are skills that people go into because they're really good at those skills. So today's video is about me challenging my skills as a photographer to shoot something I have never done before. Using my understanding of my camera, my camera settings, light, angles, all of that. And doing something I have never shot before. And that is real estate or architecture photography. And I came to a neighborhood that has uh, pretty nice houses. Like, they're very different. They're of different styles. You can tell this is a college neighborhood. So a lot of buildings are administrative buildings. So I'm just going to be walking around trying to pick the houses I want to shoot. And and see see what I get. Oh, but before we go any further, I do want to say that I'm not running and gunning on this. I did my research. I watched videos on how to shoot real estate and architectural photography. I read two articles on what makes really good pictures, what realtors want. One thing that surprised me during my research is the different kind of ways to do this kind of photography, and I don't want to bring an external flash. Plus, I'm shooting midday, like it is really, you can see the sky's completely blown out. It's bright light, it's direct light, it's harsh light. That's why I came to this neighborhood that has a bunch of trees, so maybe I can get some texture, maybe I can get some shadows, and you know, bring out the actual, the oomph of all these houses. So, yeah, shall we? We shall. I just found the nicest looking house, but it is, uh, it's guarded. But it is, it's huge. This house is massive. It's a, I'm gonna see if I can, if I can get a better shot of this. Just look at the size of this place. Yeah, I wish I could ask someone if I could. Should I? Okay, I walked around for an hour and a half and it is hot. I am not wearing sunscreen. There's barely any clouds in the sky. What have I done to myself? Now I'm heading back to home base so I can offload the pictures, edit the pictures, and then together we can look at them, we can critique them, we can criticize them, and we can scrutinize them. Because you know, they kind of deserve it. Oh, I went the wrong way. They kind of, I, I, I need it. So, so let's go. <sighs> it feels so good to have showered and not feeling sweaty and sticky and absolutely gross. Plus I got to wash the outside off me. So it's always a good day when you can do that. Okay, so I have finished editing the pictures. I have picked my three favorite pictures out of all of the pictures that I took. So we can look at the befores and the afters. And these are not ranked in any specific order. So this is the first picture that I chose because this house was enormous. And I absolutely love the little balcony and the railing that it had. The colors of the flowers and the bushes. There is a weird little grassy patch here, which I should have fixed in post. But anyway, so this is the picture that I took. And then this is the finished image. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I think I could have dialed it a little bit on the shadows, which I probably will now that I'm looking at it. 
I'm gonna dial back the shadows and maybe darken the sky so it's not so bright. So this is the second image I picked and it's pretty much for the same reasons I picked the first image. I love the balcony in the middle of the house. I love the pillars holding up the balcony, even though I'm not such a fan of such dark shadows underneath it. Uh, again, I was shooting this middle of the day, the harshest sun you can possibly imagine. Um, I also love the way the windows coming out of the attic are. They look like mini houses. And I took it from this perspective because I also managed to get the driveway in. The thing that I'm not such a fan of is because I'm shooting on a 10 to 18 millimeter lens is the fact that the house looks like, like it's doing this. But I managed to fix that in post, like right here. Now probably the first thing you notice is that I fixed the angle of the house. Now it looks like it's facing you. And there is a problem with doing this because when you do that, it crops the image in and now I've completely lost the driveway. Drive through, driveway. But there is a positive. Now I know that if I'm shooting real estate again, I have to take a couple of steps back, keeping in mind that in post-production, if I have to fix the angle of the house, I'm gonna lose a couple of things in the frame. So further back, I just giving me a little wiggle room to crop in and fix everything. And finally, the last picture I picked is this one. And if I had to pick a favorite out of the three, this would be my favorite picture. The reason I picked this one is because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous building and I love the clouds in the background. Plus I think the trees on the left side and the sky just look awesome. So this is the edit. There are a couple of things that I did to this picture that now looking at it again, I like it but there are also things that I did to this picture that I don't like. So the thing that I like the most is the fact that I straightened the angle of the building and I brought out some of the shadows so you can see the other side of the building that otherwise in the raw image you couldn't. I also like that in this image I managed to get the driveway with the garage in the background. Personally, I don't like the color of the blue. I would go back in and make it more of a darker blue, more natural blue. <laughs> okay, so since I've been looking at this image a little longer, there's something else I would change. I would also change the highlights on all the leaves on the left hand side, just to give it more detail. In my opinion, I think those leaves are a little too blown out, and so is the pavement on the corner. But all in all, this is still my favorite image, a little tweaking and it'll be an absolute banger. And with that, all I have to say is if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Smash that like button and turn on your post notification button for future videos. Okay. Alright. Okay, I'm done. Hey, you did think I forget. <laughs>